Hello everyone. It's now 11:57 a.m. Hold on. So, this is the weather today. And wait, hold up. See, the, the perps are blinding my phone. So, um, this is the weather, you know, today outside. Y'all see that? The perps keep trying to blind my phone. But, um, I was basically showing y'all. I don't know why me showing people what the weather is is considered a threat. I'm just showing how, you know, the weather and the, um, how wet it is and stuff. And who the hell is this? So, um, but anyway, yeah, so the gang stalkers don't even want me to show what the weather is. Ain't that something? But, um, and look, that's a, um, gang stalker truck right out there. Wait, where is it? It, yeah. Hold up. It's being blocked. You see that? I, I'm just stepping outside. Y'all want to say Candy showed her true colors. Candy's not a real target. Candy's the one who's the perp. Wait. See, that's what I'm saying. The very instant I step out my motel room, that's they got me. So it's almost just about noon. He might have been the one blind in my phone. <laughs> so, you know, for people to say Candy's not targeted, or if targeted means you're a chosen one, in which I don't go along with the chosen one, or, you know, 144,000. Because they got a lot of um, crooked people erroneously calling themselves chosen. I know too many. So, um, about five minutes ago, the lights were flickering. Like as if the electricity was trying to come out. I, I mean, trying to go out. And then I heard about they had schools closing. So... I not long ago, I just ate. And I mean, I didn't get the opportunity to give those donuts away. So, I mean, me just feeling bad. I mean, I haven't had donuts in a while. And I don't, you know, I mostly stopped eating donuts. But it seems like bad diet. It's like I relapsed here because of my financial situation. Um, here at this motel and then having lack of convenience like Publix was right across the street at the other store I mean at the other motel so I ate you know the, the second half of the box of, I mean not the second half half of the second half which was three donuts which was my old diet. And, and it's like, I'm feeling very depressed and high anxiety and can't even think properly because of what I'm going through. It's like I kind of relapsed. And so I had like, um, you, you know, I, I, it's like I haven't even been eating like this. You know, but just me being depressed and suffering sleep deprivation, it's like, I just had, like, I feel bad because I just had, like, three cake donuts, and two of them didn't have the powder on it. Two of them were plain, and one of them had a powder on it. And the other one, I, I mean, and, and I also had, like, an, um, a chocolate-covered ice cream bar. 
And it's like, what is, what got into me? I mean, but, I mean, like, I haven't even been, you know, eating that healthy. I mean, due to my, you know, lack of convenience and my financial situation and, um, you know, me suffering depression and everything like that, you know. So, I didn't even get to fall asleep until after 4 o'clock this morning. And I'm surprised I got any sleep. So, I I fell asleep after 4 o'clock this morning sometime. And then I think I... It was like seven or eight and I was up for a while and then couldn't go back to sleep. And then some, after some time I ended up going, falling back to sleep. And I think I woke up at about 1030 or something like that. But the bizarre situation that happened yesterday evening, which made me feel like my whole entire day was ruined. Excuse me. Um, I'm not even going to... I mean, I haven't had cake donuts in a long time. And I, well, I haven't had much much donuts in a long time, you, you know. But I, I don't really like or eat cake donuts. But that box turned out to be expensive, maybe because of inflation. But, um, you know, well, I just have three more donuts left. I wanted to go and give those donuts away, but I figure, you know, I didn't get the opportunity to. So I put them on a freezer. I mean, put them in the freezer so that can, they can last longer. But... I'm sorry that I'm kind of like rambling and all over the place because of my sleep deprivation. And my body and my mind are still feeling weak. I'm still feeling weak. I mean, I I still feel weak. What is... See, my words can't even come out correctly. So, um... I guess... Feeling weak when you're sleep deprived and then your words don't even come out properly. I guess they try to, that's people try to compare that to being drunk, you know, but I do not drink alcohol. And, um, you know, I actually feel like, I mean, like a bad person right now. It's like, I mean, what the perps did to me yesterday, um, what they did, it, it seemed like as if they were trying to discourage me and make me want to give up on writing my own blog, on my own blogs. And then they do stuff like this quote unquote author, or she writes these quote unquote books. And so on the goodreads.com, Star Bricker went over there about a month or two ago, and I just found out last night or this morning. And then she she wrote false bad reviews on those on she wrote false bad reviews on on there too. And I'm like, why wasn't Amazon enough? But now you got to go everywhere to you know just slander and smear campaign my books, and then try to say yeah, what the author is not telling y'all is this book is about me. In my narcissistic abusers ebook, I didn't even mention her. But she's becoming more and more ridiculous. And then, you know, it seems it seems like a lot of times it's like when somebody's a stalker, it's it's like you minding your own business and you forget they even exist sometimes, but they want to keep you constantly a, a we- frightened and aware of their presence. Like you're always there. So if it wasn't her and which has been her and I caught her saying some lies, 
Like she lied and said that she only called. She admitted that she called that guy up by 532 West Garden Street. She admitted that she called him and then try to pretend like she was concerned for my safety and stuff like that. If you're a perp, you you don't care about my safety. You've even expressed that you want me dead. And she lied on me and said that I want that I threatened to murder her. And she lied on me and said that I want her murdered. And I mean, just because I say these perps deserve to go fry in hell. You know, and other targets say the same thing, that their perps need to die. Their perps deserve to die. And go to hell. So, if I believe it was her or another online perp that brainwashed or told Mr. Bruce some lie about me. And, and that happened so quick. You know, and as I said, you know, I felt discouraged and frustrated and felt like, you know, but, but I mean, they're mad because they can't comment. And, and, and so they make it like, as if I'm the one who's sick and crazy and don't have anything better else to do. And, and like, as if I'm the one who's stalking them, the sick, obsessed weirdo who's stalking them and prying into their lives. So, and, and then Star Bricker lied and said that she that she didn't call up Sky Zone. Well, in one area, she said she did. She admitted that she that that was her. And then another time, she lied and said she didn't do it. Do that. She even admitted that she called up Seville Quarter. And so then she turned around and lied. She say that she that she never did that. And, and so, um, and when one person creates a lie and then there's another person who spreads that lie and then it gets twisted even more. And then another person, when it's related to that person, it's twisted even more and stuff. So I remember when I was in ninth grade, that teacher, Miss Bush, B-U-E-C-H-E, my English and homeroom teacher in ninth grade. She had us do a little assignment or a project, and I don't even know what her reason for it was. But um, she said she said that um, she had us do an assignment where she would tell one student. We all had to stand in a circle. Excuse me. She made us all stand in a circle. I'm so sorry for um sucking up mucus. <clears throat> and so she had us all stand in a circle. And then um she told one student something. I don't even remember if it was a boy or a girl, which student it was, but she told the first student something. And then the instruction was to repeat to the person next to you in their quietly in their ear. And then by the time, if about maybe, I don't know, 20 students, by the time, by the time um, it got to the last student, then the story was totally different from what was originally said. And she wanted to teach us a lesson on how gossip and rumors start. And then we were in ninth grade. And she said that before she got married, her last name was Boudreaux, which is like Cajun French. So she said that there were four Becky Boudreaux at the school, Rebecca Boudreaux at the school. And so, um, and so then, you know, after, after they wanted to say, she, she, I mean, she said there were four Becky Boudreaux that, um, and, and one of them was considered a whore or, or something like that. And, and she said that there was a false rumor that she was one of those whore, that she was, you know, the one, the, the exact Becky that, that, that was the whore. 
And I'm like, what? I didn't know what, what your purpose, you know, what was your purpose for um doing, you know, doing having us do that assignment in an English class? Oh, just now there was just some lightning. There was just some lightning just now. So, um, but, but you know what? People with narcissistic personalities and gang stalkers, they intentionally and deliberately twist what you say and your intent behind it on purpose just to make you out to look bad so you can lose more support and lose more friends and have everybody um, thinking that they can punish you with the side eye. Like, and, and to give more pe- people in society a reason to hate you. And the hatred is strong to the point of murder and, you know, wishing that you would die. They are trying to kill us in this gang stalking murder program. You know, they're trying to kill us in this gang stalking murder program. You know, so I feel like, you know, that was very diabolical for the gang stalkers to try to. I don't know what they told Mr. Bruce. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just still at a loss, I'll say at a loss for words about, you know, about what happened. And, and I feel like I want to do some more blogging, you know, and, and, and I'm, I guess, going to bounce back and continue. Because, as I said, you perps aren't going to try to run me off my own blog. That you're trying to... You know, you, you're mad because now you can't comment. So here you you want to go and spread false rumors. I never even said anything. I haven't even said anything bad about Mr. Bruce. I was talking about another person and I clearly said that. But, y- you know... As I said, the perps are trying to physically stop me from writing, even if it's fiction. And, and they're trying to make me feel like a loser of a writer. They're trying to make me feel like a loser of a writer. And, um, you know, and start bricking her false bad reviews on my ebooks. It's convinc- her only review will be convincing enough that nobody will want to read it. And as I said, if if you know that I'm an author, if you think the books are bad, but then you keep falsely, I mean, every ebook that I put out, she got something false or, or bad to say. If 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 you if you really think that way, then I would. I mean, I would if I if I wouldn't waste my time. You know, if I didn't like an author, I wouldn't waste my e- forget money. I would even I wouldn't even waste my time to read. I mean, and it's not like me being a bad author. You just don't like me as a person, as a human being. Because you hate everything associated with the truth, Starbricker. And, and that person who calls himself fake T.I. Perp, and which, come to, come to think of it, I think it, that might be that J.E. person who ha- who created a fake account. It just dawned on me. I could be wrong, but I think it's that J.E. person who created the the account and called it Fake T.I. Perp and and has, you know, videos mocking me. So if it's not J.E., it's somebody who who has, like, that same personality. So, you know, if I would have never publicized or showed, well, hey, I have a new blog, then, you know, I'm not, I mean, 
Well, I think it probably would have took the perps longer to find my blog, I think. I think it would have took them longer to find my blog. But um, it's not like they would have never found it. So, I mean... But, but you know, it's done intentional and, de- and, and very deliberate, you know, to deter people on purpose to make sure I'm isolated with no support. And then when I say that, you know, then they want to say, oh, you all about trying to chase out the clout, and that, which is not the case. We all need support. And y'all get y'all support because y'all gang stalk in groups. While y'all gang stalk in groups, while... I have to be isolated with my targeting, isolated with no support, forced to be all by myself, you know, with this targeting. And, you know, they're trying to make like candy as a, a joke for an author. And, you know, they'll make it like, I mean, it's, it's like when, when a T.I. turns into a perp, and start gang stalking me. They act just like how the perps do, and then make it like as if they don't, as if they purposely don't sympathize or empathize with the. I mean, if you say you're targeted like me and you never experienced homelessness, how can you say stuff like? Excuse me. You repeat the gang stalking narrative to say. You repeat the gang stalking narrative to lie and say that, oh, Candy is prepping y'all and watch, um, she's going to look for an excuse to quit her job so she can beg for more money, which is not the case. When I try to stay as long as I could on whatever job I had, and then their workplace mobbed me off the job. So you ought to know about workplace mobbing and sabotage. And if you say that you're being sabotaged, how, how can you act like you don't sympathize or understand what I'm going through? And then try to make like it's no excuse. Like you gotta, and, and then they try to make like you gotta hustle on your own. Are you? I mean, if you know about blacklisting, and if you've experienced it yourself, how can you act like you don't sympathize? Because it's like you want to go go follow. You think you're intelligent by following the herd and following the sheep and following the smear campaigns. And then you you compare me, falsely compare me to Satan's puppets. When it's actually you doing the satanic gang stalking work on me. When you claim to be Christian and targeted. So, I mean, it's like they wanted to try to discourage me from my writings. And other people can be an author. Other people can make money. But why, when I do it, I'm a clout chasing fraud? Other people can make a living. I mean, I'm just, I mean, I, I, I can't, I'm angry to the point at this moment where I I can't even, and then on top of being sleep deprived, I can't even express myself the way I truly want to or properly, like my, my, I mean, I can't even communicate or express myself the way I want, really want to, you know, But but all I'm saying, all, all I can say right now, this this is, you know, um, and as I said, the perps they're kicking back, laughing, they're ignorantly laughing, you know, kicking back and laughing at you know the trouble that they've caused, and then that's how it works. When two gangs, I mean, two um, targeted individuals are on good terms and getting along. And then 
the gang stalkers feel like they can't have two TIs coming together. And so if they can't have two TIs to come together, so they create a lie or a false rumor or a smear campaign to turn one TI against the other and the TI will believe it. And then they're feuding with each other. And then the TI who was told the lie, then they join in on the bullying campaign and start acting like a perp. Or they just want clearly nothing to do with you. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, yesterday I figured that the perps pulled the stunt that they did as a way to try to bully me or try to make me feel discouraged or try to run me off my own blog. They, they, I guess they strategized a way to try to run me off my own blog. But I mean, I can just picture them with tails and pitchforks. Like, they're, they're the, Satan's many children. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, and, and then they're the one who's making, they bully, harass, and laugh at me and doing false videos saying that Candy is baby Satan and stuff like, like, I'm the one who's Satan. But you bastards got more respect for Satan than you have for me. <laughs> so, and I don't get how the hell, if you're a fat person, calling me fat and greedy. Or if you don't work, and then you tell me go get a job, and then turn around and say that nobody owes you a job and you're too entitled. Well, what is your formula for how to survive then? Because you don't want me to. <clears throat> they only want me behind bars or locked up in a loony house and never getting out. And then they try to say that, oh, Candy is committing social security fraud. Or Candy's committing tax fraud. or can Why? Just just me receiving my refund. Oh, it's fraudulent. Because, because you, you know, certain things could be done with that money. But, you, you know, I only have enough money for to stay here for two more weeks plus a little bit extra cushion. And, um, <clears throat> you know, the survival food that I call myself to, to use for prepping, well, I can't do, I, I've been eating off of that, and that's been stretching me, but, you, you know, what I ate just now wasn't healthy, but at the same time, you know, the canned goods and canned food ain't healthy either. So, I mean, I'm disappointed I mean, if I were to have the equipment and start selling and making soap, or if I were to learn how to do it, <clears throat> it's not like it can, it's not like I, I can um, make sales right away and be able to stay afloat. <clears throat> but, you know, without the, the compelling or convincing false bad reviews on my ebook, it seemed like, and then that being one review... <clears throat> that's convincing enough for anybody. But if I have like a whole bunch of re positive reviews and then that one bad review, then it won't be so manipulative if you get what I'm saying. So on my gang stalking targeted by the psych world, um, I got at five people gave me a five star and she's the only one who gave me a one star. And the same thing with the narcissistic abusers ebook. I got like, on Amazon, I got like quite a few thumb. I mean, uh, five stars. And she the only, only dumbass, the only lone fool, who tried to give me um, a one star. You know. <clears throat> but I mean, if you bastards, I mean you, you online gang stalkers and the ones in person, there should be a big mega prison for all of y'all. But, but I mean, but, but that's why 
you know, hell is, I mean, they're not even taking hell seriously. They're not even taking the salvation of their souls seriously. And then if I try to talk about the Bible, they'll make it like as if I'm supposed to be forced to not be allowed to believe in God. It's just really crazy that you, you're really trying to coerce me to think a certain way. <clears throat> really trying to coerce me to think a certain way. You know, and I don't, I mean, I can't even express how exhausted and stressed out I am. You know, my week started off not that bad. You know, I think Monday I didn't have a day. I didn't really, I mean, I didn't have much of a bad day on Monday. And I don't even think my day was really that bad on Sunday. But then Tuesday, you know, somebody blocked me on Twitter for no reason. And I felt like that soured my whole day. And then Wednesday, I had the situation where that rude interviewer with that job. And then yesterday, Thursday, I already told y'all what happened. You know, that mix up, that confusion. So, but if you're part of the fake black Hebrew Israelites cult, or if you have their beliefs, and plus throw in a little new age there, then, then you know, I don't need to associate with you anyway, whether you talk about narcissistic abuse or not. <clears throat> but it's like almost everybody is tainted with something satanic, like tainted with one satanic belief or another or uh, one new age belief or another you know so you know um and then it's like it's so confusing because they got so many fakes acting acting like as if they're exposing fakes. And and you a fake smear campaigning a real person and making them like as if you're um you know exposing a fake when you smear campaigning a real one, a real person. <gasps> you know. But it seems like if you have a series of unfortunate events, people try to make like you're just a, um, that you're such a messy drama queen. But these series of unfortunate events, if you're a targeted individual, these series of unfortunate events, it's, you know, by no fault, it's manufactured and by no fault of your own. So, um, it's like, if you're a homeless targeted individual, you know, just trying to stay out of bad weather. And nowadays with employment, um, they want you with a reliable vehicle means more like an up-to-date or new car. Not brand new, but, you know, a new, somewhat new kind of car. And if you don't have that, even with the lowest wage job, it's like they don't even want to freaking hire you if you don't have a reliable car. And they want that to be like a big thing. So you ca you'll call me crazy, you know, for wishing that I had something like that so that I can be eligible for more job opportunities so I can get off you know, so I can get all out of my situation and have my own job so I won't have to beg or panhandle anymore. You know? So, ever since two Fridays ago, I have not needed to panhandle, beg, or ask for anything. And 
I, other than my refund check, I mean, I haven't received any donations and, and I haven't needed to, you know. <clears throat> but the perps are making it like as if I'm insane. The perps and fake TI perps are making it like as if I'm insane or crazy for trying to write for a living or trying to make a living. But it's like, y'all making it like as if candy doesn't even deserve to eat or candy doesn't deserve food. And, you, and you're supposed to be targeted and Christian and you call me a fat, greedy bitch. And then you call yourself a chosen one when you're fat and greedy yourself. <clears throat> so... And, and, and so, I mean, you, you're calling yourself a chosen one and acting like you're speaking against Satan's puppets when you're the one who's acting like a Satan's puppet because you're Satan's chosen. You're sold out and you and you got all you're bearing all the spiritual fruits of Satan's sellout, but hiding behind the Bible in order to avoid detection. And then to mind fuck somebody even further. To have them more gaslit. I mean, I don't know how the hell a person would be illiterate with a master's degree and can't even spell. You're illiterate with a master's degree and can't spell. And, and then somehow got a job that's over fifty thousand dollars a year. So um you can't even spell the word super S U P E R. You can't even spell the word super. You spell that wrong. But how the hell you spell something simple as that incorrectly and got a master's degree? And I mean, but then they falsely accused me of chasing after money. And it's like, you're just parroting and repeating the smear campaigns, trying to lie and say Candy got a lot of money hidden in her storage unit. And she got more money than she leads y'all on to believe and stuff like that. It's like y'all, and, and then people give that high fives and thumbs up and hearts and likes and they get their clout and credit off of me by smear campaigning and lying and and as i said they laugh they hide behind their phones and laugh while they while they while they you know spreading this wickedness and i mean one day you act like as if you love bombing me and then build me up and make it like as if you're inspired by me. And then your narrative change. And then you turn around. And make it like as if I'm a sick, obsessed, crazy, crazy person. Who just, you know, like as if I'm crazy. I'm like, I'm the crazy, sick, obsessed weirdo. But then you turn around and mocking me. And then it seems like I have to find out. After all this time, despite you having more material possessions than I do, you know, and I don't even really care, but you haven't, you know, <clears throat> if you had lived off a high income and never had to taste homelessness, you really don't understand the struggle. And it's harder being homeless and targeted. And then they laugh, sit back and laugh at all the pla laugh at me for all the places that I'm wrongfully banned from. Due to being homeless and due to my targeting. And, you know, other people, when they get get fired from a job, they just get fired. But me getting fired, oh, I got to be fired and banned for the rest of my life. I never heard of that before. But, you know, I'm venting and just getting a lot off of my chest. It sounds like I can hear, I have these earbuds and it sounds like as if a loud bass vehicle just passed by. But you, you know, 
I don't I I think it's very sickening that professed targeted individuals they intentionally shut off sympathy for another TI because they feel like their own struggle is too unbearable. And so then, you know, they're making like another TI struggle is too, you know, too burdensome. And so they shut off empathy and sympathy for another TI struggles, but then they want people to hear what they got to say, or they want to express themselves. And, um, as I said, what what the hell is going on here that TIs are perping each other? No way in hell could this group of targeted individuals be called God's chosen. And, and you know, when t targeted individuals even bully each other in the so-called TI community. Help me understand that. And it's like me being uncorrupted, how could I be expected? How am I supposed to be expected to reconcile with somebody who has sold out and made their decision? I, I mean, I just don't understand. If, if, you, if you're supposed to be targeted, how, I mean, don't you know about workplace mobbing? And workplace bullying, but they you go along with what the rest of the perps say and say that well, you know you got the same narrative as the rest of the perps, so it's like you're a fake t i perp playing both sides It's like you're playing both sides, and so you you know. If you if you can't understand what you know a homeless TI not having and, and then not only just me being homeless and targeted, but then having certain disabilities that hinder me from functioning like normal. And some of those disabilities are due to narcissistic abuse as a child. Or cult abuse. You know, being abused and put in a cult. And if, if y'all want think something's wrong with me that I can't function normal or properly in society, or it's my fault, and, and it's like I'm just tired of, you know, abuse from every angle, Ab all this abuse and attacks from every angle, and it's like I don't know where these professed Christians get that from to make it like. If you're suffering so hard, it's because you're not, it's, it's because you, um, you know, it's because you're not worshiping God hard enough or good enough, or you're not having enough faith or whatever, or that's because you haven't been praying or reading the Bible. And when, you know, usually the, Satan usually attacks you the, the, when you try to get closer to God. Satan attacks you the hardest. And some people say it's a test. A test of your faith or whatever. I mean, say, and, and, and sometimes Satan will attack you through other professed Christians, believe it or not. So. And, and then people make it like as if, you know, as if I'm just a sad case. I'm a sad case, a basket case, a crazy and insane lunatic. You know, and it's like, if you're supposed to be targeted like me, why don't you hate that your gang stalkers that strongly? No, instead, you would defend gang stalkers against me exposing my gang stalking and you tell me I'm wrong for that. Or that I'm breaking the law. As I say, like, and, and then you act like you deliberately and on purpose don't sympathize with my the struggles I go through with my targeting. And then when I say, oh, I'm struggling and I was on the streets and then you reverse it on me online and say, well, you're perping me because talking about you're struggling because I'm struggling. How are you struggling with the over $50,000 a year career when I'll never in my life get to see $50,000?
I promise you I will never get to see $50,000. But $50,000 a year, that's sellout money right there. You ain't never been targeted. So, um, and this is my channel, so I have a right to rant if I fucking want to. I'm angry right now. And I, as I said, I had a rough doggone week, a very rough week. And when you're suffering, even other professed targets even attack you more and kick you down even harder. That's, that's why I say this fake ass chosen one cult, this fake ass chosen one's cult is, a, yeah, it's, an, it's another cult, another elitist cult, a narcissistic elitist cult. Talk about your chosen when you when you you know when you you claim to be ch God's chosen wh while you acting like a, a highly narcissistic fake modern day Pharisee. No way in hell are you chosen by God. You're chosen by God, but then you sitting there spewing out New Age rhetoric. Are you going to, um, you know, you, you, you're going to see psychics, but you claim to be God's chosen. But then you go see psychics for advice, but then you turn around and tell me you, you're not trusting in Jesus enough. And then you say stuff like, speak your wishes, speak it into existence. That's new age fake witchcraft right there. I mean, and then you, you want to glorify law of attraction, which is new age and occultic. And don't you dare try to freaking argue with me. You won't find talk of law of attraction in the Bible. But then they will try to pervert and twist Bible scriptures to justify a false narrative and try to lie and say, well, yes, the law of attraction is in the Bible. No, it's not. I read the whole Bible at least a minimum five times. So, um, yeah, I just don't understand, <clears throat> you know, you know, I, I just don't understand. And then people make like, I'm insane and crazy for ranting when you can have your rants about me. But, you know, it's like, I, I'm not allowed to have any rights in this world. Oh, it looks like it's getting darker. Well, it's daytime, but look how dark it is. But I mean, this is my little open journal and punching bag right here. <clears throat> and so, um, but I heard that, I mean, the perps can even ask us your private, anything that's private about you. They know about it. <clears throat> but I mean, I, I keep on saying that I don't understand how or why. Um, if you're targeted, how do you act like you don't understand? Oh, wow. How do you act like you don't understand or sympathize with workplace mobbing and how it operates? Instead, y'all want to smear campaign and lie and say that, oh, watch, Candy's prepping y'all because... She just looked for an excuse to um, quit her job so she can so she can have an excuse to beg for more money, which is not true. I mean, why would I waste my time going through all that when they have perps on standby? And with the last job, even other professed targeted individuals were I, I had to cut them off. Because they were defending and agreeing with the narciss with the narcissistic perp, Mr. John. And Star Bricker, she lied. I, 
and said that um that one of my co-workers asked me who my social worker was. I never had such thing happen like that. Um, so the perps, they're twisting my words and twisting everything I say. And they deliberately twist everything I say. And they reverse it on me and lie and say that I twist what they say. Or that I'm the one who's twisting the narrative or twisting the truth. And it's like they, <clears throat> they're lying while they swear that they have the truth. And other professed targeted individuals, they act like as if they don't want to sympathize. And it's like, if you if you know about being mobbed off of the job, why would you lie and say that Candy is, um, you know, that she's lazy and don't want to work and she's going to look for an excuse to quit her job so she can beg again? And they said Candy's not a real T.I. and Candy's just a clout chasing perp. Which is not true. If, I mean, and, and, you know, I only ask for help when I need it. Like for the next at least two more, two, two to three weeks, I won't need any help from, to stay here. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm calling myself trying to make a living writing. And so, 